Hello, this is a review of the CaseLogic EHC-103 camcorder case. And while we're at it, we have to make a comparison to the very similar model from the same brand, the MSEC-4 from CaseLogic. Because there's going to be a lot of similarities and yet differences that may make a decision one way or the other, other for you. I had previously absolutely loved this case as a stellar case from this very same brand, so I'm excited to try out the EHC-103 case to see how it compares. So a feature that both of them have that I love is the tilt out pocket. This allows you to easily put your camera in. You, you, you can slide your camera on in and just close it up and zipper it and when you want it out you run around the zipper and you can easily put your hand in and pull the case out. And the same is both for the other model as well. It's just a slightly different um, interior on the other one. Now, something that this case has, the 103, is also has a belt loop on the back. So with this here, you could slide it under a belt if you would like to uh, more easily tote it around. That is a feature that is missing on the uh, MSEC-4. Something else that's new inside of this case is an internal pocket. So you can put an SD card or something like that inside the pocket in here or something very small. Again, that was something that was not in the other model. Now the straps, on any any case like this, is going to be a very simple strap. Now, in compared to the two, this was a finer mesh than on the MSEC-4. Not that it really makes much difference, but just, just for a comparison, uh, the thread count seems to be smaller threads of nylon, perhaps, and is actually ever so slightly more comfortable, but it really isn't going to make a big difference between the two. Now, some people might point out that the strap itself, as being a nylon strap, you know, might not be the most comfortable thing against your skin around your neck, and that's true. You can always, with any case, go buy another strap and just connect it on. Uh, but I find that these kind of straps are excellent just for throwing over my shoulder, and if you're in the winter, you can always toss it under the edge of your jacket, you know, where it catches along the collar and doesn't rub against your neck. But I've never had a problem with these kinds of straps. Now the zippers are different between the two as well, and both of them are perfectly fine. So the zipper on this one here, they offer two with this pull style attachment um, as well, and compared to the normal zipper that you might be used to on other ones. Now this zipper works just fine, but it this zipper is much nicer. I mean it's zip 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 right around, whereas this one I tug on it a little bit and, and, and it moves just fine. I don't have any problems, but sometimes I have to hold it with two hands a little bit more. Now the handles on this, it comes with a handle aside from the strap that if you want to. Now if you notice there's some tension right here that slips determines how much room there is that directly correlates to the strap there. And for whatever reason I found that the amount of space between here takes some pressure and just isn't a ton of room for me to slide my hand in. Now obviously it's serviceable but it's not that comfortable. This vinyl strap is kind of, ha it's not a smooth feel. Um, the, the feel is, it's a vinyl but it's kind of like a sticky or suede feel that feels a little awkward to me and it makes it not that comfortable to hold like this. Compared to the MSEC-4, I really liked the strap on this one. Now it had a very similar but slightly looser um, similar construction there, but being a more basic kind of uh, material, just being the cloth-like material out of vinyl here, is a different than, than the other one, but I, it's so much easier for me to just toss my hand in and, and tote it with me. Um, so I, I prefer the handle on this, but if you're using the strap, you know, this one is just uh, fine too, and perfectly serviceable with uh, the handle here. Now let's talk a little bit about the shell, because they made this a selling point. The, the label says it is a hard shell case. Now it is hardly a hard shell case, other than it isn't a foam, a simple foam case. It's, it's a rubber case, and that's in stark comparison to the MSEC-4, which really was a hard shell case. So, for example, it's, it's really a thick rubber. Uh, but it, you know, it flexes easily, it's, it, uh, the feel of the material isn't smooth. It feels like a sticky rubber, almost like I'm wondering if there's something rubbing off like an oil, but it's, it's, uh, 
but it's perfectly fine. It gives it something much thicker than just a foam or cloth bag for your camera. But it's, of course, very different than the smooth, harder plastic feel of this. So this is a hard plastic. This is a soft plastic or rubber um, that flexes very easily. Um, so it, it gives to compression much more than the other case does. So um, obviously you're not going to really be compressing it a whole lot. All it really means is don't put it at the bottom of your luggage. Uh, whereas this case, I thought this was fine in the bottom of my luggage. Uh, but this one here, throwing it in a purse, in a glove compartment, it's obviously um, very good um, for that. Um, now about foam padding. So that's not the only protection you have here. So inside, you have several layers of foam padding. So you have foam pad here and here, which is plenty thick, as well as around the, around the edges here uh, and here. That is very similar to what we find on the MSEC 4, except that the padding in this one is better. It actually has more foam padding around the blue internal compartment, whereas this one was just, just a uh, nice slippery sleeve to slide things in and out, which had its advantages too. Uh, so there's plenty of foam padding, more than the MSEC 4, but notice there is no foam padding on this side, which was the same case as was right here. So the overall protection uh, on these, I think, is I'm very confident that it gives good protection. Um, is, and uh, compared to, uh, you know, it's not as stellar as I felt this thing was rock solid. I didn't have to worry about this one at all. Uh, but this one is very good. Now, let's talk about the size. So this EHC-103 is slightly longer this way than the MSEC-3. And it makes actually a notable difference for my camcorder uh, that I have, the Sony camcorder CX-160. And what you'll notice is, if I compare the two side by side, You'll, you'll notice that the bottom one is slightly longer than, than the top one. Um, so it's the smallest amount of difference allows me to go from the MSEC 4, which I could only use my small battery on my camera, to when I want to connect a larger battery that is twice as thick as my other one. This amount of difference from here to here was, a, was the differentiating factor that I couldn't stuff my camera in the MSEC 4 with the larger battery. But I did notice, and I'm absolutely thrilled, that I can actually just about stuff it in here with the camera, with the battery attached to the camera. I um, mean, it does push against the sides, and these get, you know, with this flexible pocket, it has some give in here, which is nice. But uh, I was able to push it in. Now, of course, I'd be a little bit concerned that the amount of compression on the sides. Uh, that with everything attached it was a bit borderline but it's possible and if I'm not throwing it in my luggage I'm not remotely worried about that but that that amount of difference made a difference to me so I really like this case uh, from that perspective of course I still absolutely love the, the case logic MSEC 4 as well now let's talk about actual dimensions so on the exterior you have uh, six and three quarters inches wide this way four and three quarters inches uh, tall this way and in thickness it's about three inches thick. Now obviously there's a lot of flexibility and with the kind of uh, material you'll get some variance um, but internally you have it's five inches long end to end from this pocket um, and of course there there is some give as I mentioned I was able to stuff my camera in here with the larger battery and it just about fit. Um, it is two and a quarter inches thick here to here but two and three quarters inches here to here now that gives you some give in here so that with your with the handle on your camera you'll you'll have a bit more room and now let's talk about height so the height of this you have two and a quarter inches from the bottom to the top edge of this and about three inches if you want to consider how long it is from the edge all the way to the top so somewhere between two and a quarter and three inches, you'll be able to slide your camera in and rotate it on in. And it's going to be very similar to sizes here that would be posted on a separate review of what those sizes were. So again, I really like it. Um, it's not as perfect as this was, but it does have advantages. So thank you for listening to the review.